Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel, and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique two-handed battle axe known as Grognax Axe. First of all, we must come to the location, Hubris Comics. As we can see on the map here, Hubris Comics is to the northeast of Diamond City, right next to Swan's Pond. And just a friendly warning, Hubris Comics is filled with ghouls. So be sure to come well prepared and equipped to fight a legion of ghouls. Apart from that, rather simply, as soon as we walk through the front door behind the cash register, there is a big display case. Inside this case is Grognak's axe. The very axe we came here for. Now this display case does have an advanced lock on it, so you will need the appropriate lock picking perks to be able to unlock this case. There is no key. And once it's open, there it is, Grognak's axe, ripe for the taking. Just like the maidens we will save. Before we look at the stats, as always, I have reduced all of my character's base attribute stats to one, and I have no bubblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will only be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of Grognak's axe. Now, Grognak's axe cannot be upgraded or modified at all, so we'll be going straight to looking at the stats. As we can see, it has a base ballistic damage of 27, its speed is medium, its weight is 10, and its value is 100. As we can see at the top in the middle, Grognak's axe hits, cause more stagger, and targets take bleed damage. So, Grognak's axe. It is, of course, a unique weapon, and unique to any other type of weapon, as there are no other two-handed battle axes in the game. It is, of course, based on the weapon that Grognak the Barbarian uses within the comic book series of the same name, which can be found throughout the history of Fallout games. Now, although being a replication of a comic book character's weapon, it is still quite an impending, doom-delivering, bat-wing-bladed, two-handed Hellraiser. The head of the axe seems to be fashioned or heavily influenced from the Wu-Tang symbol, so when hitting enemies in the hip, they may hop. As we know, the first effect of this weapon, hits cause more stagger. This is really cool, especially when fighting the tougher enemies. If you're going to have any problems with enemies, of course it's going to be the tougher ones. So if you can stagger them a bit and uh, put them off balance, that would be excellent. And I tell you what, as we're about to see, this weapon sure can put enemies off balance. So the extra staggering effect is excellent. Sadly, I didn't get to see this stagger effect in use much, which is actually a good thing because it means this axe destroyed my enemies before they got a chance to fall over. And of course, the second effect, enemies take bleed damage, didn't see it in use too much because once again, it came swinging through the scene like a headsman's axe, delightfully decapitating the dregs of the wasteland. There is also a quite interesting hidden effect of Grognak's axe. It costs much less AP in VATS compared to other weapons with a medium speed. To be specific as possible, it's about twice as AP efficient in VATS compared to any other medium speed weapon. Although it has not been completely calculated, it appears to have approximately the same AP cost as a combat knife. Now, although Grognak's axe has a medium swing speed, I tell you what, if this is a medium speed, I don't want to see a slow speed. It feels like the entire Viking era passes between each swing. But all in all, Grognak's axe is an excellent weapon. Does all the damage you could ever want, and it's quite easy to access. No, that wasn't an accident. How does it feel? Excruciating? Alright, I'll cut it out. But let's be honest, you can handle it if you're sharp enough. And finally, this axe is what you get when you have a knack for alcohol. And here it is, Grognax axe in action.
And there you have it, there is my guide to Grognak's Axe. I do hope that this video helped you in acquiring this weapon and understanding how it can be used to its best potential and what it's actually like when it's put to use in game. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you want to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. I would like to thank you very much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.